Do we have time to get to Hollywood Medium? Yeah, buddy. We have a half hour. Lou Dog? Yeah. We've been promising it. We can go through one of them. Oh, which one? This is like this Christmas. Is tough. Well, mean, this we is going to actually, the, the, the campers are going to hear it later. We were saying this, by the way, me and Lou yesterday. Zool, going back to Ghostbusters? Yeah. She's very certain that she heard a voice say Zool. She's right. That yeah. is the name of yeah. said demon, yeah. Zool. That said, I've watched the movie a thousand times. When she opens that fridge and that creature like growls, I do not hear Zool. I wonder if we can find that. 100% you can. Zool. No, she opens the fridge and you hear it's a creature and it goes like... Brrr. And, and like... You can force the word Zool in there, but you can fill in any... I could say he says... Uh, Taco. No. It's got to be it. one straight thing. Poop. Just, Zool is such not a word. She thought maybe like... The, why did the thing say tool, perhaps? Or You're school? a tool. Go to school. She knew it was Zool. She just knows it? Do we have that, Lou, anywhere? On, it's got to be on YouTube somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah. Here it is. Oh, wait. Hang on. We, have, we need volume. Is Daly's... There's dailies. So there's well, the great thing about water. Hollywood like Medium's got commercials in it because that's what pays for his psychic powers. <laughs> <laughs> got to pay the bills. You want me to read your freaky mind? Sorry, if I, you want me to blow your mind, first I gotta. Here we go. Oh, turn that down. Oh, another question: Was Sigourney Weaver hot? Yes. Yes. Were you also a Joe Beth Williams man? No, but I love Sigourney Weaver in this. And in the second one. I was very in love with her. Yeah? Yeah. I thought she was... Yeah, she I was never her. my thing. Well, that's fine. She's for me. So. Here it is. Ghostbusters scene. Leaving her soul. I heard Zool. I know, but like, Zool. if that happened to you, Zool. if you open your fridge and that, wouldn't you just say it growled at me? Would you say it said the word Zool? Yeah, I just say growl at me. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry, okay, guys. dude. I get wound up. I know you do. It's okay, buddy. It just, <laughs> just make it make sense. By the way, you? just noticed the Stay Puff marshmallows are by the eggs. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you just noticed little, that? Yeah, a little early call. But yeah, Stave Puff. I think, that, I think Stave Puff actually shows up a few times. It's one of these. <laughs> yeah. Stay tuned, motherfucker. Something big's coming. We neutronized it. I think Stave... You know what that means? A complete particle reversal. <laughs> and we have the tools. We have the talent. It's Miller time. I mean, it's crazy to think that that's supposed to be Eddie Murphy. I know. Every time I hear him do a Some, little, someone Ernie Hudson, every time I hear a line, I'm like, ah, man, that could have been Eddie Murphy. Someone uh, sh sent the scene, them watching the scene on Twitter the other day. Oh, yeah, Just, with, uh, with oh, Zool. But that fucking, I forgot how funny Bill, how good Bill Murray is without even saying words. Just him behind him when he goes, she's like, are you a god? And mm -hmm. Dan Aykroyd looks back at Bill Murray. He just, just his nods and like thumbs up. He's like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Such a great scene. Let's watch Fell Dog talk to Hamster. Oh, my life. Oh, this is the full Fell Dog episode. Wow. Yeah. I mean, if it's here. I mean, it's right here in front of our faces. My name's Tyler. Wait, I don't hear his intro. It's go-to medium. I haven't heard of her at the beginning of the show ever, for real. Okay, here it is. Hi. I like ghosts. Ghosts are neat. Sometimes. Sorry, I was just gargling balls. Ghost My name is Tyler Henry, and somehow I've become Hollywood's go-to medium. And somehow? So you admit you're false. Unique, because I never want to know Pause who it. I'm going to read before I meet them. Did you say somehow I became Hollywood's premier? Yeah, he just... What's like so it. funny about that is because you goes, listen, I used to be Sylvester Stallone's mom's assistant. Somehow. Now, somehow. I became, it's like always like that. It's like, Do you, you know, know, know he was someone's assistant. When we stay at our friend Michelle's house... But it's almost... What were we gonna say? You've been there before. Yeah. Michelle's house. Michelle just has a trail of wildly gay men that like pick up her son from school and are just at her house in the morning. But that's just funny because it's like that's that, just like that's, those guys become like that thing. But it's funny because he makes it sound like it's a superhero accident. He's like, I was a normal gay guy. Then I found into a pool of radioactive material. And now somehow I became Hollywood's top medium. I was blowing a scientist and the gamma rays exploded out of a machine. And I'm like, what's gamma? And then I woke up and my, my dead Mima was there. And I was like, what are you doing here? And she's like, you have a gift now. You've got the shinning. 
My father was there shaking his head at me. But here's the thing. He's been dead for three years. He's always been shaking his head. <laughs> was he dead or alive? Now, I'm Hollywood's top medium. And also, I bleed out of my ears whenever I contact the dead. <laughs> but it's great. the price I pay. <laughs> when he does it, I'll, I'll see you now. <laughs> it's me, your dead Aunt Rita. <laughs> it gets super demonic whenever he contacts you. <laughs> you want to know your future. Whenever he contacts the other side, it's just super demonic. It's me, Corey. I heard you fuckers were penning a script Hi. for Lost Boys 3 without me. My name's Tyler, and somehow I became the top Hollywood medium. But watch out, because when I go to the other th side, things get dark. His <laughs> eyes just go black, and he's like, Is I no Espiritu Santo Santa Monia. Oh, I'm sorry. That was an old Argentinian priest who got murdered by a war criminal. I contacted the wrong person. Let's go back on that. That wasn't one. your Aunt Rita at all. Shut up, silly goat. Aunt Rita, get in here. Let's go back to the other side. <laughs> 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 but then again. You left me in that mine shaft. <laughs> Oops, that was a pair of Grevian miner who was collapsed on. <laughs> I keep grabbing the wrong people. Silly me. <laughs> Somehow I got the. All right, play the intro again. <coughs> oh. God damn it. Mother. F two minutes and 12 seconds of commercial. <laughs> <laughs> oh god it makes up for it it really does that make up for it. it you know what that, that was, was worth it I kind of like how I like making mistakes hi you need to be pop wow that's a lot of fucking you had to do this before and it's my fault because everybody has to go off it hey Christine this is my fault hey wow. hey I mean, hey can you take that hey, better Christine why don't you just say okay I know you say oh wow <laughs> and now it's like I'm gonna have to hit you later Christine I am totally always on your side you embarrassed me in front of my frontier <laughs> yeah but you did take that pretty shitty <laughs> she goes like this oh about time and oh. then back to her, back to a computer whoop de woo <laughs> for me to contact the dead I need three things the blood of a goat <laughs> a, pent a pentagram and also your belief that Satan is lord <laughs> of hell. Yeah. Hey. Oh, what Sorry, was that Satan again? Get out of there, silly goose. You know what? I put I dialed the wrong number. It happens. On the, <laughs> it happens in real life and it happens on the other side. Sorry, I just psychic butt dialed Satan. Oh my god, he is such he texts me all the time and it's like enough. Enough already. I yeah. get it. <laughs> I get it. I somehow became Hollywood's top medium somehow, some uh, way. I'm so busy. Uh, that's what's so funny. Like the the flamboyant, like gay guys, like they do. Like they're the fastest to get bitchy about being celebrities. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you mean you think they become divas the quickest? Divas and also kind of like that. Like, please, I'm just trying to go to the spa. Yeah. Like it's not enough with the picture. You know. I think there's. I think there's. I think the catty gay guys in specific fields get that way. Like this thing where he knows this is a limited time offer, and he knows that this well, is going to be. He's going to get two seasons and a bunch of dippy idiots. I don't know if I believe that. I think this guy might get fucking seven seasons. You think he goes into syndication? No, but I think it'll be an E staple forever. Here it is. He's got to deal with the devil. <laughs> he sold him. He said, Hi, my name's Tyler, and I sold my soul to the devil. <laughs> Christine was uh, a fag hag for some time, and I will say, I bet she never tired of that fucking, that cadence of talk and that whole thing. She leave the room. <laughs> She's over that. Uh, am I, you, you never get tired. Of, like girls love that having a bitchy like guy. Like you have come to dislike it more by me being annoyed by it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Oh, she just dropped him off. Where's he going? Is this the Hay Mansion? You probably thought oh, they were dog? all. Yeah, they're all fabulous. 
Fell dog. Thank you. I'm Corey. Nice Welcome. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for He's got sunglasses hey, inside. Coming. Inside. He answers the door. Sunglasses. Guy. You know, I, I, you're I wish. You're not the pizza guy. I wish. That's all right. We'll Wait, did the the you thing. order pizza? <laughs> and I have never been a ghost believer, ghost chaser type person. I ordered a pizza. This would happen. Corey Feldman's an actor and musician. I think I've stayed away from the whole medium world just because, you know, most of the time it's a gimmick. Good call. So, All right, Feld Dog. It's today. Except this time. Me. I appreciate it. Thank you for being had. Absolutely. When Corey answered the door, I had no idea who he was, but I could tell that Corey was a little bit skeptical. <laughs> I got the feeling right when he opened the door, but he was excited to have an experience. <laughs> he just seemed skeptical. Um, so basically, I work as a clairvoyant. It helps to kind of be able to just receive Also because the Hollywood medium looks like Macaulay Culkin, and who's the boy who stole Michael Jackson away from Corey Feldman? It was, it was Macaulay Culkin. Yeah. So he answered the door, he goes, hello, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mac. So we meet again, Culkin. What are you here for? <laughs> you can't take my hat. You took Michael, you can't take my hat. <laughs> he really took Michael Jackson right from him. Oh, must be pizza. Nope. Macaulay Culkin. I just looked through the people. <laughs> ah, Christ. Culkin's here again to rub it in. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin comes back and just makes him smell his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's the king of pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He goes, wait a second. He made you finger him? <laughs> ah! And then as he does, he goes like this. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Okay. Uh, it's okay. We're back Appreciate to the it. Thank you for being had. Absolutely. Oh, Before Uncle he answered the door, I had no idea who he was, but I He's so him. hot. I was a little bit skeptical. <laughs> I, I, wish, I wish he really would be like 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 gay, gay about it yeah. also. I mean I, he happens to be gay clearly. By the way, if I'm yep. pointing a finger then I my gay dar is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure this guy's gay, but uh it really would be funny if he goes he goes, Not only is Corey Feldman like super open to things and a good channel for this vessel but um super hot okay what a cutie but really holding it together i mean look at that little mouth it's like tearing into virgin puss what a cutie patootie <laughs> i opened the door and i was like cha-ching i'm gonna <laughs> I like, find out some info about you on the other side <laughs> i'll tell you what's happening on the other side bonerville uh-oh better watch out when i go under i hope he does take advantage of me all uh, right did you just notice that we happened to pause actor and musician, musician, not under, capitalized. Under, by the way, whoever works at E that did that in the editing room, tip of the cap. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. You, you would have lost your job, but the only thing that could have been better is if you put musician in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there it is. He does not fuck around. What's up with the youth? I've been wondering, what's up with the youth? I want to contact some dead youth. But I think I've stayed away from the whole medium world just because, you know, most of the time it's a gimmick. It's so just like me. I guess we'll see what it's happens. It's just mostly today. a gimmick like I am. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for being had. Absolutely. <laughs> when Corey answered the door, I had no idea who he was, but I could tell that Corey was a little bit skeptical. And I thought his I hat was right stupid. Door, but he was and he was like, an experience. I thought I ordered a pizza. I'm like, you want a pizza? I'm like, okay. He's so carb heavy. That's seriously. Also, what's up with your hat, Indiana Jones? What's up with the youth? What's up with your silly hat? I, you better be. Please don't fraud. Please don't rip me off. Why are you wearing a suit? Like you play saxophone for Keith Sweat. <laughs> um, so basically, I work as a clairvoyant. It helps to kind of be able to just receive information. And then if you can validate it, that's usually the goal. Okay. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's got a wish. Blue just noticed it. Dude, the clairvoyant has... He's got a wish. Listen. Because I have a very, very sticky situation in my life oh, today. Not... There's two options. We'll do it again. And it's been really difficult. We'll just try to find so, it So, I'm worry. looking for that answer right now. Okay, so at this point, I'll just kind of try to focus, and we'll go from there. <laughs> Can I come? So, I have three people. So, there's... Okay, I have about Wait. three people that I'm going to bring forward. So I'm going to um, bring forward? What? To very much... So it's like a maternal type of an energy. Mm -hmm. um, and that's definitely a family connection. And when she comes through, one of the roles she's acknowledging is a feeling of, because of maybe some of the men in the family dealing with some issues, she had to take on a lot of roles mm -hmm. <laughs> and do a lot and have a lot of responsibilities. Oh, you most women in every family? family? How dare you this guy. fucking idiot. Oh, that, you're just making these broad strokes? Is that what being a clairvoyant is? Jay, hold on. Let me clairvoyant you real quick. Oh, please. Let me go to the other side real quick. <clears throat> hold on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, 
hold on, I'm getting an energy, Jay. Uh, I'm getting energy from an older man. Huh? An older man who... <laughs> he's definitely fake. He's definitely fake. <laughs> and he, uh... Did you... He's, he's, I'm he's my grandfather. Hold on. He passed away. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I think he's related to your grandfather. Oh, 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 oh God! But I feel like oh, I'm getting, I'm getting um the Phillies. Did you have an older man in your family that liked the Phillies? <laughs> yeah, there was, there's been men in my family who have enjoyed baseball. Yes. Okay, is he an older man? I think he's related. Did you have a, uh, a great uncle? Oh God! Did you have a great uncle? I, I, my Jewish name is named after him. Okay, that's him. That's your Jewish name that you were given at your bar mitzvah. He's saying that. He's saying you walked away from the faith, but he still loves you. Oh God! Does he forgive me? Hold on. I lost it. I'm back. What happened? I don't know what happened. Oh God! I go, okay, what happened? I'm so glad it wasn't the pizza guy when you were not. Oh no, it was me. It was me because knocking. Now it was me knocking, and you let me in. <laughs> okay, this guy's full of shit. Let's go back. <laughs> um, in family, to your knowledge. That's yep, what we do. I got them both. Okay. You're so, right on the money. Perfect. So yeah. I feel like I have to kind of highlight that. I'm going to run upstairs, and I'm going to yeah. grab this one right real yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to run There's upstairs no and grab an anything. axe, and I'm going to come back and <laughs> bury it in your gay face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go upstairs and get a gun. And when I come back downstairs, you better be fucking gone, because this black magic you're doing in my living room, it's fucking up my chi. Hey, buttfuck, found the axe. I'm heading down. You want to get a head start? <laughs> you got about five seconds to get out of the front yard, or I'm going to blast. I'm blasting on site. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna what? grab this one right real yeah, fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's no question that things were coming through to him. He goes so like this right, he walk, right as he walks upstairs. He goes, he totally thought that I had a connection. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, are the cameras still rolling? <laughs> Hey, Cornhole, I can hear you. Start running. <laughs> hey, so he totally thinks I just, like, met his grandma or something. <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah. As soon as I saw that stupid hat, I knew I can tell this guy I'm talking to anyone. They said a sucker's born every day. Well, only suckers wear hats like that. Like, Wait a second, I'm getting something. It's a Cessna pilot, and he wants his hat back. <laughs> yeah. It's um, a guy who runs a... Gambling ring <laughs> in yes Cuba. It's a Cuban gambler. <laughs> I'm getting a it's Cuban a, gambler. It's a Miami pimp from 1982, and he says he wants his hat back. And he calls you a little punta. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. That's Don. One is 100 percent authentic World War II jacket. I wish we saw this. Need much explaining on this one. <laughs> right, I would say so. Complete with a purple heart. Right. Which means he killed a lot of Nazis. That's so, so interesting. Getting All right, so it's pretty clear that I feel like I stuck like an alcoholic male and just that interaction in life. But there's a feeling basically that alcoholism may have been a dynamic that like affected a relationship. Mm -hmm. You got it right on the head. <laughs> and what a hard relationship. My grandfather, who's probably who you're talking about, right? He was a daily drinker, right? Which could have provoked a lot of the um, abuse cycle sure. that he created. I mean, you could like read right. a book a good way and learn it. all this information about him, and then you're just preying on him. Can we yeah. get to where he talks to Corey Haim? Um, I'm talking to Corey Haim, and he's saying you should stop calling yourself a <coughs> fell dog because you're 50. He also says that those nicknames he said in a drunken stupor as a joke, and you grabbed on it. He also wants to know why you're dressed like the cat jazz band on Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> but someone watches, I think everyone watches the show going like, fucking idiots. Or some people watching it like, yeah, I don't know what Absolutely this people thinks. watch it and believe it. Christine, Absolutely Christine saw uh, a clairvoyant, whatever, do his show not too long ago. It's a friend of our friend Michelle's we were talking about earlier. Yeah. And she said uh, she did not get his trick. She didn't get There was the clairvoyance on... America's Got Talent this season, who I believe they came in second place uh, on the whole show, and they're so, fucking great. But it's a, but it's a trick. It's, it's a, a trick. It's a Vegas show. But the guy that she just saw, she said she, it's a show also, but she says no, she can't tell what his trick is. You couldn't tell what he was doing. It was like a super emotional show. Like even when he started, like I started crying, and it was it was just something where like the way because there's you know he we're get, in the slipper room. He's a gay guy too, right? He's a gay guy too, <laughs> and he's talking, he's doing That's his thing, powers. and like people, you know, he says something like somebody's coming to him, and then people are calling out from the audience like that's me. 
and it, it feels like you should be able to figure out exactly what he's doing, but I couldn't. I mean, I was like, oh my God, like... It'd be funny if you were just like, She said 15 plants. You just kept going, bullshit, <laughs> every time, bullshit. I, I just be contradictory to everything. It's like, uh, he goes, I'm someone whose grandfather's name is Peter's, like, that's me. It's like, is it? Yeah. Is it just <laughs> oh, sure, wink, wink, <laughs> wink, wink. Hey, when you guys are driving home together because you came together, are you going to laugh about this moment? Hey, where, where do you guys meet up before the shows? Do you guys go to a diner and have dinner, you fucking frauds? Yeah. <laughs> While waiting for this uh, commercial to end, let me tell you that my morning was a fucking slapstick movie. I went to grab my laptop, take a dump. Yeah, we all know that laptop, process. Smashed my finger. Ooh. Laptop was open. Oh. Picked it up. Closed the laptop with one hand, like behind it, yeah. on my own nip. Oh, hurt! <laughs> wow, yeah. And then tripped over the ottoman, and then I went to go take a shit with my laptop. Thought to myself, probably shouldn't have brought in the laptop. That was God telling me. Yeah, the guy was like, "Oh, is this him? Is this hamster?" Reference to getting up to get a glass. Of I have a glass in my hand, and I'm thirsty. And then I died of a drug overdose and passed very quickly. Wait, what? Go You're back. You're talking about Corey Haim. Well, oh, there it is. Okay. Don't, do oh, not shit. touch it. Do not touch it. Fuck. That's my fault. Did though. you I move it? I drug overdose and passed very quickly. Oh. Here we go. You're talking about Corey Haim. Corey Haim. There's no question that Who's Corey Who's that? Haim. Are you associated with him? But uh, I don't think Tyler knew who Corey Haim was. Um... I don't know who that would be referencing to. Okay. Do you, you, do, you don't know, really? No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But, but my right. best friend was Corey Haim. Pause this. Yeah, was, Wait, you knew Corey Haim? Get the fuck I out fucking, of here. You knew Corey? I, I hate this medium yeah. now. Because that's shitty. Like, you're really taking advantage of somebody here. I know it's a TV show. I'm sure everyone got paid. But do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, back that up. Goes, I want to goes, use that shitty goes, Oh, you're again. talking about Corey Haim? He's like, I couldn't even begin to guess through that possible. It's like, so they told, like, someone told him... Act like you don't know who the fuck he's talking about. It'd be funny if it was like a cameraman, like a butch, like cameraman goes, Oh, come on, dude. Lost Boys. License, yeah, I mean, license to drive. <laughs> you don't got none of that. Blown away. That was the guy who was eating, munching out uh, Nicole Eggert's box. You don't know any of those movies. But you, did you not catch that? That he was he's playing off that he doesn't know who Corey Haim is. Yeah, hit play. It's infuriating. It but uh, I don't think Tyler knew who Corey Haim was. Um... I don't know who that would be referencing to. Okay. Oh. Do you, you, do, you don't know, really? No, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. But, so but my best Ooh. friend was Corey. Yeah, it was the two Corys. Yeah. But you know who Corey Feldman is, but not Corey Haim? No one knows Feldman, but not Haim. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's bullshit. All right, keep it going. I'm Described. Okay. Yeah. I believe it was the day that he passed away when I came to the house, and I was very upset. His mom told me the story of his death. She told me that he wasn't feeling well. And he said, all of a sudden, I'm going to get up and get a drink of water. And he just got up and then all of a sudden just kind of started stumbling around. And he's like, Mom, I don't feel well. And then he just laid back down and died. Oh, that's fucked up. Because, like, Feldman's, like, actually fucked up by that. You can tell. Oh, yeah. I think what's coming through with this, the only way I can really word this is... Keep it going. As this is coming through... <laughs> I don't know if this will make sense to you, and regardless of, of believability, I, I need you to just hear what I'm going to say. I know without a doubt that he's coming through and referencing to writing. When I'm seeing writing, this is referencing to a reveal, or coming forward, or being public. I don't know what the situation was. I don't know what you know of his situation. I only know what I see. But in the context of his life, I don't feel like his life's story is completely done. I don't believe that his life story is completely... What does that mean? ...resolved in what has been expressed. So you're saying we should make Lost Boys 3? From his perspective. Give me a thumbs up if he's cool with signing off on it. <laughs> ...that something can be done to fill in those pieces of his life. And it's important for him... This is not that this such horseshit. Done. Is he only saying pronouns? He goes, he him, I, you, of, us, of we. Writing something or coming forward with something, I don't know what it means, <laughs> but just, I uh, please know. It's kind of a hot point right now. Yeah. You have his encouragement in whatever he this is, but. Says, he's saying it to everyone about getting blue food by execs. Yeah. 
Well, uh, it's certainly the topic at hand. So um, there's been a lot of pressure on me to come forward with information that I, he had asked me to give this information and I did a book, I wrote a book. Oh, great, okay. Oh, cool, I'd like to read it. Oh, I had no idea. Um, oh, unfortunately, no. when I wrote the book, I was not able to... It's interesting. Are all, all these the characters that I seem to be contacting mentioned in the book in any way? Because it's that's like, a, what a weird coincidence. I mean, it's almost like I wish I would have read the book, because then I could have came in here and been like, oh, I, this character does this. I already know this stuff. And yes, I am talking to Corey Haim, but I don't even... I'm so good. I don't even know who Corey Haim is. He just also, found me. Do you feel like it's a book like Game of Thrones, where like if I don't read the book, I'll miss out on this medium? Or like <laughs> I can totally catch up on this medium? Okay, cool. Never mind. It's like, listen, I'm just being honest with you. I don't know who Corey Haim is. Um, so, it was beyond my control. Sure, sure. That said, we are planning on making a film mm -hmm. of that same story, but again, I imagine we would have to consider the same legal right. boundaries. Right. It's Making a, a film about them getting molested um, by executives? I'll be playing story. myself. CGI. The story is about what's going on in Hollywood, of taking advantage of children and taking advantage of parents who are unaware of what's going on with their children. And, you know, that plays out in all sorts of different ways, from feeding drugs to kids to Jesus. making them get drunk and doing things that are inappropriate. That's a decision that I'm actually struggling with right now, so... Uh, okay, well, I can get two shits about that. I got someone else. To what's happening Good in my reality, stuff. But it's yeah, oh, man, how fucked up would it be if he goes, if he goes, hold on, I'm getting someone else. <laughs> I don't know. Who I don't know. Was, oh my god, that's probably my my mentor and friend Michael Jackson. I'm sorry, I, it's not really ringing any bells. Michael Jackson. I don't know who that is. Could you elaborate on who that is? Could you? Hold on, on. Oh, baby, baby, with the high heels on. He just starts talking like this. He's a moo. But he starts talking. He goes, Yeah, he says, um, we've got to make a change. For something for once in my life, I'm just gonna feel real good. He gonna says, make a difference. He says he lives. Get right. He says he lives here because he's got no place to go. I, that's why he wants you to know. <laughs> but I don't. But again, I don't know who that is. So anyway, he says his name is Michael Jackson. It sounds like he's wearing a lot of buckles or something. I, is he a colonel? Was he a colonel? <laughs> is he a general in some army? Because he's wearing a lot of army-like things. I just imagine there's a statue. There's a golden statue. Is Magic Johnson one of his bodyguards? He says something about, like, remember that time we gave each other's handies on the roller coaster in my backyard? But he also says he can dance, destroy a car? I don't know. <laughs> and then, and that, now he's gone. He turned into a panther. He's, he's gone. gone. <laughs> he's gone. He turned into a panther. Oh, wait. He's a werewolf. He's a getaway. Wait, he's dancing. He's, he's zombie. Dancing. Zombie, zombie werewolf panther. He's gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. Zombie dance. Wait, now he's saying. Because <laughs> I, no, I just love the talk. He says, uh, <gasps> it's gonna make a shame. <laughs> it's gonna feel real good. Shamon. <laughs>